everybody. It's Sophie and Marco dish out on the movies. Today we're doing another full moon movie called The Alchemist. And uh, I don't know when it came out. What, the 70s, Marco? 1983. Uh, Excuse okay. me. Wearing vintage clothing. Sophie. Of course, they weren't vintage back then. I, w I want that sweater, Sophie. I want that sweater that Hitchhiker's wearing. That sweater. Yeah, the acrylic sweater. And I also want Luke Skywalker's uniform <laughs> he's wearing. Because, Safi, what's this movie about? <laughs> it's actually a, li a short story. Because it's, it's called The Alchemist. I mean, is it about alchemy in any way? Not really. Not really. Safi. But Marco told me before this movie came out, because I, he saw it before I did. We've been uh, packing up and sorting through our stuff and... Uh, he said it was better than The Godfather. It was better than, um, what's the other movie? Oh, Rear Window, you know, Alfred Hitchcock movie. And I'm like, really? And I'm thinking he must be joking. Yes, Sophie, I was and joking. And he was really joking. But I actually, I actually did like the movie, though. I thought it was way better than Shadow Zone, whatever that thing was. Oh, yeah. And then it was also better to me than that comedy movie. Oh, yeah. Tales of Erotica. It so, was a very short story. Is If somebody got paid to do a movie of a short story. What, reminded, what it reminded me of was... It reminded me of like a movie that Mystery Science Theater would do. And so that's another reason that I liked it. Because it was, it was fun in a good, bad way. And you you know you didn't take it too seriously because if you did, you'd probably you'd probably sit there like just face palming for an hour and a half because there are so many funny things in this movie, like uh, for instance, there's two times in the movie. You know, okay, the first time there's it's I I think like they're stabbing like. They're putting a knife, they're stabbing a guy's hand so that they can draw blood. And what they do, you can clearly see it on camera. They stab the knife in between the fingers. So they're not actually stabbing, and it's just so obvious. And then blood is coming out magically from in between the fingers. And it's like, it's just so like cheap. And then there was another one where there was a demon hand reaching in the car, which was really funny. And uh, and the guy stabs on top of the demon's palm. Like, you have his palm, and he stabbed on top of his palm, uh, over the top of his hand. He didn't actually stab his hand. And then this green blood started coming... Uh, out and out of his hand as if he stabbed him and that also looked really fake but that wasn't the funniest part the funniest part was when the green blood dripped all over the the girl and she started going ah 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 because it was dripping all over her boobs and she was looking down like ah ah like it that was like even scarier to her than a, a demon grabbing her was demon blood dripping all over her, her chest. <laughs> right, Safi? I don't know. It, it's Did you really notice weird. that? I, I don't know what was going I thought it looked weird. The whole thing. Every time they did the knife thing, they showed it it didn't even look like a knife at first. And then it looked like a piece of cardboard. <laughs> And then when they showed it, the way they showed the, the coming out, the stabbing, I don't know, it was just really odd. looked very fake. It looked weird. It didn't, well, I guess fake meaning it didn't look, it didn't look like it should look, I don't think. And well, I'm Sophie, not like I've seen a lot of people get stabbed, but it just looked odd. You know what the funniest part of this movie was? 
was that, you know, this movie is an hour and a half. Mm. And you took, like, six hours to watch a movie. I can't fall asleep. It's an hour and a half. Like, you fall asleep, you rewind 30 minutes, and then you fall asleep again, and you rewind for 30 minutes. And then, at the very end, literally right before we do our review, you were like, oh, what happened to that girl? That girl at the beginning, in the past. And I was like, Safi, didn't you see the scene before the credits and you're they like no they just showed fire and then i had to rewind all the way before <laughs> and so she was even not finished with the movie when we had to do the review and uh i would say the movie is very simple and one of the things about the movie is that it's good because the actors are good and I think the actors are very fun to watch first off you got the hitchhiker he has like a really cool sweater on and he's he's pretty cool uh he's kind of dopey but uh he is entertaining to watch he's a good lead and then you have the girl uh Lenora because he keeps on yelling her name the whole movie. <laughs> like it, it's the Raven or some shit. Lenora. It's Lenore. No, it's Lenora. It's Lenore. Isn't Safi, it? that's in the Raven. In the movie, it's Lenora. Yeah, I know. In the movie, it's Lenora. Yeah. Yeah, in the book, it's Lenore. Right. Uh, she is basically... She looks like Talia Shire... And she's almost just as whiny. Like, there's so many sequences in the film where she's just like, Like, she's just screaming, doing the typical horror movie woman screams in an irritating way. And, uh, she's fine, though. I mean, I, I didn't think she was terrible. And then you had another guy who was a protagonist... And he was the best one, because every time he came on screen, he just had no personality whatsoever. (laughs) He just had this, this blank expression, and he, he had an outfit like Luke Skywalker Mm. in Return of the Jedi, you know, that black outfit that he wears, and then his face, he has the same haircut is Luke Skywalker, Mm -hmm. and he looks exactly like him, except he has, like, a chubby face. And so I like to call him chubby-faced Luke Skywalker. And I kind of liked him. And then the bad guy, you hardly even see the whole movie, but the thing is, is that... I know what this movie is, Safi. Mm -hmm. This movie is a rip-off. Uh-oh. Of a Stephen King book... And I I think that's one of the reasons why I liked the movie was because it felt like a very simple version of that very complicated story. And so, Safi, what do you think it is? Which story? I have no idea. Stephen King. I know, I'm thinking of... It's not Christine. That's that was Halloween Ends that ripped off Christine. <laughs> what do you, What do you think it is? Mm-hmm. Uh, come on, Sophie. T- speak louder, too. I have no idea. Just a little cat come up behind me. The stand. The stand. Yeah. It will be a mini, 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 mini version. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I like it. that went on and on and on, and they even admitted that was, wasn't that his longest book, or... Yeah. It was so long, and they wanted to edit it. But just just think about it, Safi. You have this girl, and she's traveling on the road. She picks up this guy. They're on the road together, (laughs) traveling, and then she's having these dreams of the bad guy, just like in The Stand... Uh, She sees the bad guy, and he's, like, taunting her, telling her to come to him. And then they go right to the house with the other characters, including a grandmother character who's, like, the grandmother uh, in the stand. 
and then uh, they eventually go meet him and have to defeat him. See? <laughs> it's exactly like the stand. What do you think about that? Would you agree? I suppose so. I mean, but it would be a very mini version, and instead of having it as long, they could have had it a lot shorter. They followed this movie because there sure wasn't much to it. Like I said, I think it was like a little uh, short story. Well, it was hilarious. Every time Safi, like, like every time I heard the movie with Safi watching it, you just heard that annoying theme. That da 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 now, it didn't have much and, of variety of music, that's it, for sure. It just kept kind of pl- playing over and over and over again, and Safi had to keep on hearing it. It was just hilarious. Why it's like, I kept falling asleep. It's like torture. Like, I... Ugh. But it, it's fun. It's a fun but flawed ride. Oh, God. It is. It's fun. I mean, look, look, the demons at the end, you have... Because the movie's about... In the past, there's this guy, he's supposedly an alchemist. I don't really know how he is an alchemist at all, though. I don't either. That's why I was like, what's an alchemist? I thought an alchemist has something to do with pharmaceuticals. (laughs) No, Safi. Not at all. Uh, Obviously not. So, the alchemist, he has a wife. And his wife gets stolen from him, like... Like in the old man TV show. <laughs> the old man. Remember that, Safi? Yeah. <laughs> I wish that was still on so I could make fun of it now. It will be next year. Yeah, I can't wait to make fun of it. Uh, she gets stolen away by this magician. The magician puts a spell on her, makes her his sex slave, and then the alchemist finds them both, and the magician... Uh, tricks the alchemist into stabbing his wife and then he puts on a curse on the uh, alchemist that he will forever be a demon at night time or something and uh, that's what happens a bloodthirsty demon and so then we see in the future which is uh, the 80s <laughs> we see this girl who looks like Talia Shire uh, like a bargain bin Talia Shire and she's driving along and she picks up a hitchhiker which is probably one of the stupidest decisions that people make in the entire movie because Safi it's like this lone road and this lone environment and he could have been a serial killer I know. or a serial rapist <clears throat> Or a serial retard, and uh, she picks him up, and they have all this back and forth, and it's really queer and kind of dumb, but fun at the same time. <laughs> and, <laughs> well, it's fun. It's like, it's like who, when people make these horror movies, like, who seriously thinks it's a good idea for characters to just sit around talking for a whole movie, like without the talking actually being interesting well this movie does and so then she starts having these terrifying visions of the bad guy and the bad guys ugh ugh (laughs) Safi what do you think of the bad I mean you know what I think he could be he could play Mr. Burns in the Simpsons yeah what do you think of that I suppose. He looks exactly like him, except with longer, darker hair. Yeah. So, they're traveling along, and at the same time, you have Luke Skywalker, chubby face version, and he's got some problems, you know, it's kind of like being the wolf man, you know, it's kind of a pain, <laughs> you know, because being a wolf man is pain in the ass, And being a demon is a pain in the ass, too. And so, this... (laughs) This grandmother, she's a witch as well. And she decides to trade her soul so that he can have his back. 
which is pretty bizarre because, I mean, there's n- there's nothing established that would make you think like you know like why would she do that? Like, I know, like what's gonna happen? That's a big deal. That, what so, I mean, she's saying what she wants to happen, but what does that mean in real terms? Well, she did a ritual. I know she did the ritual. She but did a I mean, blood ritual. I don't know what it meant in real terms. Blood. Remember Psycho Sophie? Blood! It's blood! Okay, so... So, the, 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 the hitchhiker and Talia Shire, they get to the cabin with the alchemist, and fucking Luke Skywalker, he's showing around his glass sculpture collection. <laughs> yeah, art glass. <laughs> it's, I guess... <coughs> I guess that's how he's an alchemist. You know, and I don't get this. I I I thought glass was blowing glass. Hey, Sophie, I thought that glass was uh, your mom. Uh, okay, so then he kind of gets attached to her, you know, because she looks like his wife, exactly like his wife. I I don't even understand. I real like it's really weird. I don't know what happened really. Like none of it really makes sense when you think about it, but. What ends up happening is that it becomes nighttime, and demons come out of a hell hole, and, <laughs> and the portal opens up, and the demons are running around, and they have to fight the demons physically, and so they run them over and they stab them, and it's it's really hilarious, and see that's why I liked it because it it was very reminiscent of uh, Evil Dead at that point, so. And then they they decide, or how does the grandmother die? She the demon comes out at, at night, which is the uh, so the Luke, guy, the Luke Skywalker killed her on accident. No, he didn't kill her at all. I think what happened was uh, he had a big uh, like a um, a fire poker maybe. And he broke, uh, they had a whole room full of glass that he, uh, supposedly he had made beautiful pieces of art glass, I guess. And yeah, he was very proud mm. of that glass. And uh, <laughs> he got that fire poker or whatever, something like that, and he broke it all. And the shards went all over, and somehow uh, she was hiding from him, and then when he went away, she, the, the, well, you think she's the grandmother, but it turns out she's his daughter. He never ages. He just turns into this demon every night. Oh, I missed that. Well, he never ages, so that really is his daughter. I'm referring to her as that because that's what well, she the character like was she in, has in the stand. Well, she has aged. So, anyway, yeah. uh, she tripped on the broken glass she did have boots on it's not like she was walking on it in bare feet or even sock socking feet she had on heavy boots and she tripped over the glass and she fell on maybe it was the fire poker that he <laughs> used to i couldn't tell really but it was this big i, I didn't understand how she got killed no, she was. She just. It was an accident. Whoops. And she she just tripped because there was so much glass all over the floor. I hate slipping on glass on felt falling on a fire poker. I hate it when that <laughs> happens, Safi. Right? Yeah. Does that happen all the time? No. I think that's a common occurrence at full moon features. <laughs> <laughs> Safi, you know what I just... Full moon features is to see that moon every time you watch a full moon movie. Oh, do you know what I heard, though, about full moon features? Mm Mm-mm. You're never going to believe this, Safi. They lost the first negative print of Puppet Master. Oh, no. Like, isn't that hilarious? Like... I don't think it's lost. Somebody took it. A movie company lost the first negative print of their own movie. And it didn't have, like, a fire or anything like that used to, you know, where you have all these lost movies because these companies have these fires because they're so flammable, that film 
uh, canisters, but no, they, like they just lost it in the mail or something. Like they just are like, whoopsie, I can't find Puppet Master. <laughs> like I find that to be a very odd story. I know. Well, I'm suspicious. Yeah. I think somebody stole it. It's kind of like there was a. I think Breaking Bad. Uh, one of the Breaking Bad stars or something, or I can't remember what it was, but, like, someone had had stolen their car, and, 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 and the script for the finale was, like, in the car, oh God. and then, uh, they asked really nicely to return it, and I think they returned the car with the script or something, and <laughs> that was pretty interesting, but anyway, the movie, <coughs> they go into the portal, with Luke Skywalker, so you know that the villain's gonna be uh, in deep shit facing off against fucking Luke Skywalker. <laughs> and Luke Skywalker's just like, yeah! <laughs> and he's wearing his uniform, and and then the Talia Shire, she goes up to Mr. Burns, and she says, I am not that girl! I am going to kill you now! <laughs> and then she stabs him, and he's like, "Ah!" And then he falls down and dies. And then they run out of the portal together. And then Mr. Burns comes back for one last scare. He comes back from the dead for one last scare. And this was another hilarious part: was she, he was trying to drag her back in there, mm-hmm. and then the portal closes and cuts his body in half. That was weird. Which was very much like fucking Doctor Strange, or that would happen in Doctor Strange. I think they did that with the uh, monsters or bad guys in those shitty ass movies. So then, what happens is Luke Skywalker dies. But he he also kisses this random woman because he looks like his... She looks like his wife. It's like, I guess he'd just walk up to any woman who looks like his wife, put her in mortal danger, and then give her a kiss. Like, I I just... I I didn't understand this movie at all. But I liked it. I thought it was fun. It was atmospheric. It had a lot of fun, bad moments, a lot of bad effects. Mm-hmm. The best part of the movie is definitely when the demon blood drips on her chest and she gets really upset about it. So, I would say this movie. This movie is like a turkey sub with no mayonnaise. <laughs> Because when you have a sub sandwich, it can be good. Like you, (coughs) you have the ingredients. Like you could have piccalilli, you could have jalapeno, cheese, onion. uh, I don't know spam, and uh, but the one thing is that you need mayonnaise. And this movie. It just doesn't have the mayonnaise. It doesn't have any secret sauce. Uh, So it just is like very simple and kind of basic. But it is still pretty good if you just like look at it for what it is. Even though probably you wouldn't want to eat a turkey sub with no sauce. (laughs) Safi? I wouldn't want to. What would you rate The Alchemist in terms of food? Well, I thought all I liked all the actors. I thought they were very appropriate for the roles, and I thought they all did a good job. They didn't look like they were dumb or inexperienced or fake or anything. They looked really. They acted and looked really good. I thought <clears throat> looking good meaning they fit the part, and uh, they had some good uh, costumes, even though they were very simple. They fit the parts. And the, I guess the problem with the movie, like I said, it was like a very short story, and they got to make a movie about it, and uh, yeah, that's, it was very sketchy. That's it, that's the funny part, though, is 
You know, they said that the director of this movie, they had to fire him after he shot two to three days of filming. Mm. And Charles Band had, Charlie Band, he had to direct the movie himself. Mm. And I just find that hilarious because, like, how could you fail directing this movie? Like, this movie could be made with an iPhone in the middle of nowhere with no budget or anything. And, like, how in the hell could you fail at making The Alchemist? Yeah. What do you think of that? wasn't what I expected at all. That's, I, I, I just thought there'd be a little bit more to it. I didn't realize. It, it was just a very short story. Yeah, I think. It was like somebody had a dream, and they, they, they wrote down the dream, and they got to make a movie out of it. All the movies for this full moon month have had bad titles. Yeah. Or inappropriate, meaning they just didn't fit the story. And the only reason why it's called The Alchemist is because the... He's an alchemist. He's an alchemist. Quote, unquote. And we don't see anything related to that. But it's like, no, he is a force user. He is a Jedi. He is a part of the good side of the force. Yeah, that's what it should be something to do with Star Wars, but I think they'd get in trouble for... Uh, uh, Using the characters for something that's an established right it, now. It still felt like that, though. Like, it felt like this could have been, like, a science fiction type of movie. <laughs> so what would you rate it in terms of food, Safi? Mm, that's hard. Well, I think I just, uh, uh, I made spaghetti yesterday and today, and it's, um... Homemade spaghetti is really good because you can do whatever you want with it. You can put any number of spices in it. You can put mushrooms in it, for example. I never do. You can, you put, can put spam garlic. in it. You Ew. can put spam. Yeah, gross. You put spam. garlic in it. I don't like spam. And um, Pork chop. No. And you put do put you can put uh, well, I put ch- uh, chunks of uh very spicy uh, Italian sausage in wine to the yeah you can do sugar yeah, that's that is a, a whole a bottle chemical thing. a whole bottle Talk about of sugar. alchemy no not a bottle of sugar like a, a tiny bottle. little spoonful to neutralize the acidity what about a spoonful of sugar just a spoonful of sugar okay. Anyway, um, I so I would give it a jar. I would give it a jar of spaghetti sauce. And there's any number of jars of spaghetti sauce I see people buying at the store, and I'm thinking they're pretty good though. Ugh. I well, like it's just not the same, but it's. it's I like okay. a certain kind. You know, it it is a very it's very simple basic. Thing. That's right, and, and that's it, what this show was. It almost feels like it feels almost like a side dish or like. A, a spaghetti salad or something where you're not really having the full thing because yeah. like there's no meat there's no sausages there's no uh it's very liquidy so it's very kind of but that is a good rating for the movie yeah i thought about and thought about it and I've been doing desserts lately, but it's very cold out. I don't want to think about ice cream, so I'm thinking about I'm thinking about spaghetti, and I'm thinking about those jar sauces. I see people buy them, and I think God, they could just make put in 30, right. 30 minutes of effort. They could make real spaghetti sauce with tomatoes, tomato paste, and um, tomato sauce. Oh, what I did once was I made jar spaghetti, and then I put ground beef in it as well. Yeah, that's another thing. You could get your jar spaghetti, and you could make additions to it. Which, But my eh. wives will just make their own spaghetti sauce. Yeah, I mean, you, you yeah. So, it's yeah. just so simple, and it, 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 kind of, it, it, it just drives me crazy. I think once Why? in all these years of it's living... It's a fun movie. No, and in, in terms of spaghetti sauce, I think once at the store, once, because it's not of my business, but I said, you know, you could make your own spaghetti, uh, and it would be a lot better. But, and that's all, I did do it again, because I didn't want anybody to get upset, and it's none of my business, so. 
Anyway, so that, if you like this, uh... No, wait, Safi, you know what's really hilarious? Number one, the last movie that you chose, Tomb of Terror... As it turns out, is an is is an and an thought it's it's a clip show. <coughs> it is three full moon movies that they compressed into one, where it's like an anthology, and so that that's not going to count. So I had to choose another, and what I chose was Witch House Two, hmm. Blood Coven. Oh. But we came across another problem before right before this video. I we were supposed to watch Doll Graveyard, which I re was really excited for, because and it's free on Tubi, like all these full moon movies. And then what do you know? What? They literally. I'm not even kidding, Sophie. They took off Doll Graveyard, the day we were supposed to watch it. Hmm. Like yesterday, it was on there, and we could have watched it. They took it off today. Hmm. It says this video is unavailable. Like I couldn't believe that. Like what? What in the hell? Like is Charlie Band like trying to sabotage our full moon movie month? <laughs> is he trying to? Is he trying to? Uh, uh, rest, rest. Uh, trying to fight me, <laughs> Safi. Do I need to cast a spell on him? I have to something to do with Tubi. Cur I have to curse him into a demon, make him into a demon at night. Maybe he'll make better movies if he's a demon. Uh, <laughs> anyways, Safi. Yes. Well, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and <laughs> and um, <laughs> if you would like to become one of our subscribers, we welcome you with open arms because we have. Appreciate diverse commentary. And yeah, diverse opinions, not opinions uh, any other type of diversity. And suggest oh my god. <laughs> and suggestions. <laughs> maybe that Marco would quit saying stupid stuff like that. And uh, have a great day. And we'll see you next time with another full moon movie review in, in honor of Halloween month. Okay? Goodbye. Goodbye.